What is up guys, it's Justin and I'm back with a new EP review. This time around I want to talk about Julian Norton, better known as You Know. In May You Know released the 6 track EP called The Love Ones and he's already back with a new one. This time around it's a 3 track EP called Open Your Morai. So get comfy because we're about to dive into my review of You Know and his EP Open your more eye. So the first track called Awful sounds a lot different from the other tracks that you know has released before. I'm not gonna lie, but from these three tracks, the instrumental of this one is my favorite, hands down. From the Reese bass to the whiny guitar melody, I really like it. The second track called Last Chance remind me for a split second of Yuno's know, other song called Sidelines. I don't know why, but the melody sounds really familiar, or I mean, I would say it sounds similar to that from Sidelines. <laughs> I gotta admit that this song is really catchy and this is really one of those songs from you know that will be stuck in your head for quite some time. Oh and one more thing to point out is the piano auto on this track. I don't know why but it, for some reason it reminds me of the song Unravel from uh, the anime Tokyo Ghoul. I don't know if you, if you have heard the piano version before, but it sounds similar to that. That's how good this piano auto is. The third and final track is called Falling, and in my opinion, it was also the most underwhelming track of this EP. Um, the falling, falling part, it, it sounded like a good build-up. It, it was like the pre-chorus. I was like, okay, this is going to be insane. It's going to be nice. And then you're being left with this slowed out version of the things that were already being sung beforehand. And yeah, in my opinion, there was a missed opportunity. Yeah, like I said before, it was really a missed opportunity because I know for a fact that Juno can make hard-hitting and catchy choruses for his songs. In conclusion, Juno released a 3-track EP, which in total has a runtime of only 5 minutes. Like I said before, the first two tracks were really strong and Falling was really underwhelming. It really sounded like a song that was unfinished. It had a strong intro, it had no chorus and a somewhat decent outro, I would say. And that's why I'm giving this EP a 6. So I just shared my many opinions on this EP and now I would like to hear what you think of this project. So feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you think of this. Also feel free to suggest a album, an EP that I should listen to, especially from an underrated underground artist because I really love those. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.